This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust your eyes. My bad. Steven Bishop is here, man, from Being Mary Jane. He plays uh, the role of David, her Playboy love interest. I have to ex uh, describe you to be. Yeah, I, you know, come on, man. I don't know how I got that label. That man in that show, he's a good guy. He he had a date with her. Yeah. She He had tickets to Esperanza Spalding. Okay. okay. Yeah. And she couldn't go. She had to work. Yeah. So, you know, he doesn't want to waste the ticket. He has another friend coming yeah. into town. They're not in the relationship right now. They're broken up, having a break. Yeah. So he took another girl. That's it. That's we, it. We didn't see him run around with 18 girls on the show. Oh, uh, yeah, but the way they portray you is like you got girls to choose from. Uh -huh. Like, you know, like it's not, like you know. Like a buffet. Like, yeah, right? Like well, it's know, a smorgasbord. You used to watch Good Times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, a... you know, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> This guy. <laughs> yeah, but no, but this, he got all that, you know, d look, the dude is, you know, tall, light-skinned, you know, uh, come from Chicago um, area, which means he got some hood in him, too. Mm -hmm. um, athletic, you know, played uh, pro ball, baseball at one level. Uh, rapper, we just found out he was an mm -hmm. unsigned hype in the Source magazine years ago. I was. You got hey, a beard? Big shout to Car uh, Carlito and, Carlito. Uh, and Riggs. Wow. Riggs put me in that joint. Riggs, Riggs Morales, yeah, Riggs. I hope you're listening, bro. Yeah, yeah Riggs is a family, family member here. You know, um, he's uh, Shade Four Five affiliated. Um, he he won't tell us his rap name though. But now we can look it up. Or I could call <laughs> Riggs or Carlito. <laughs> Good luck. And find out what the rap name truly is. But with all these assets, I mean, in real life, I mean, what what is your uh your 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 relationship status? Are you single? Are you with someone? Or? I have a girlfriend. Oh, you do have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So if your girlfriend and you schedule a date like this Friday, maybe I want to go to the movie mm -hmm. and, and, and she doesn't show up, will you call another lady? Absolutely not. That, that's not how you live in. That's not how I get down, man. Yeah. And, if, and, and, if, and if I would, and if I would, Sway, yeah. Yeah. you think I'm going to tell you yeah. on national radio? <laughs> He's smart. <laughs> <laughs> so but when, I absolutely would not do anything like that. How long you been in a relationship? Uh, about nine months now. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so it's still fresh. relatively new. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you definitely can't say that or allude to it or <laughs> joke with me about it, right? right? Okay, I get that. All right. When um, acting with Gabrielle Union, mm -hmm. who is a <laughs> gorgeous woman, to say the least. Yeah, that's an understatement. Uh, extremely hilarious. Um, this show has uh, really revealed so much about Gabrielle Union as an actress. Like we we, we didn't know the depth she has, you know, necessarily uh, because some of the past roles. But you know, she's been a lot, faced a lot of adversity in her real life, mm -hmm. you know. But we're seeing um, an interpretation of a young woman, black woman that I don't think it reminds me of Mary Tyler Moore. Remember the old mm -hmm. school yeah. show? Mary Tyler Moore was really revolutionary because you had a single woman living in her own apartment and. They hadn't really seen that uh, much on TV. She's like the new age, um, I think, image of black women um, that we've yet to see, right? Would you agree? Yeah, you know, I think that they're out there. My mother was was very much like her. Yeah. She was a single woman, very successful, uh, you know, raising a black man in, mm -hmm. you know, at the beginning of my life in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I think they're out there, but we just haven't seen them on television and in yeah. film much. You know, I, th I I made this comment the other day. A lot of the awards that we're getting are for are negative roles. Yeah. You know, slaves, mm -hmm. uh, unfit mothers, mm -hmm. dirty cops, these types of things. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, I think that the 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 good part, the positive part of our community is out there. It's just up to us to try to put it out more into the public eye. I think that we've fallen into a trap of Listen, I'm going to put out whatever they're going to show. Yeah. And I know they're going to show us being gangster. I know they're going to show us doing wrong things. So I'm, I, I got to eat. I'm going to put that out. Mm -hmm. You know, but if we if we get to a point where we're running things a little bit more and we have the platform to say, OK, what are the stories that we really want to tell? Then I think we're going to start to see more and more things like this. I mean, get, uh, being Mary Jane scandal. I mean, these yeah. are, you know, prof prof uh, uh, how to get away with murder. Yeah. Professional women, you know, yeah, but they fuck a lot. <laughs> yeah, that you, you know that's what I mean? true. Yeah, they, I mean, like uh, uh, Gabri Mary Jane Paul's character, successful broadcast journalist, comes from a, a very affluent family. Um, but when when you talk about Olivia Pope, right, and you know, and then when you watch an Empire, the, they they fuck a lot. 
But let me give you my let me give you my take on that. <laughs> but, but, and then and then with other then with multiple men, I mean, uh, you know, that's something we don't see a lot. Taraji that, no, that's true. That. That's true. Yeah. But in my opinion, what that shows is their power. Okay, their power, women who are going and taking what they want, like their male counterparts do. Okay. So All it's right. like, look, I'm running this. I'm about to do what I want to do. Yeah. And nobody's going to tell me that it's wrong for me to do it because. I'm running my shit. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I forgot. I'm on yeah, satellite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. You just said we're talking about fucking. We're talking about fucking. We're talking about fucking, right? We're talking about fucking. Fucking. No, we're talking about fucking. Not the game. <laughs> nah. Not the game. Not the game. We're talking about, about fucking. fucking. Okay. Oh, yeah. dear. <laughs> um, you know, they, they, <laughs> they, they say that, you know, I've seen this happen. Uh, women have become more empowered, obviously, and as the the... The world has evolved and yeah. they're in positions to not have to live up to society's uh, stereotypes, demands mm -hmm. and uh, not having to be put in boxes that they don't want to be put in. Now, that can be a detriment as well as it can be good for them, because, yeah. you know, if there's no order in society, there's mm -hmm. chaos. There's chaos. Right? And if we got everybody running around just fucking. Yeah. Yeah we got problems because yeah. nobody's going to want to settle down and, and mm -hmm. stop doing that. You know, so that's I think that's a part of the reason that we have, you know, the family unit has been destroyed. Yeah. You know, just too much In fucking increase of STDs. Yeah. Babies. Population unlocking. growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, you know. and now they're trying to force people to continue the population growth into families that are where they're not wanted. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's one thing that bothers me about that whole issue is that you want to force people to have these babies, but then you want to turn your back on those babies yeah, yeah. because you're trying to kill the, the social uh, the social tools yeah. for people who are, are less fortunate. Yeah. So you're, you're creating the problem uh -huh. and then turning your back on the problem, exacerbating the problem uh, at the same time. You right. Know? Maybe we should talk to the writers. I, I actually enjoy uh, being Mary Jane and watching Gabrielle fucking. Um, um, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What, Heather? You know, just, go what, ahead. what? What? You don't agree? That's what you love about the show. <laughs> no, you know, honestly, I just honestly, what I think is is what, what what Stephen was saying is just it's showing dimensions to um who we are in a different way. Um, uh, and I actually enjoy the writing on the show. The acting is great. You know, um, it, there's a lot I like about the mm -hmm. show, and I think it's been a great show for Gabrielle, and I think it's a great show for you. Go ahead, Tracy. I was going to say, since we're talking about women in power, and I love that you're so comfortable with those women, what about those who make, like, five times more than their man? Like, if your girlfriend was making more than you, would you feel comfortable? Absolutely, because I feel like, okay, here's, here's my take on that. If you're superwoman, mm -hmm. you run the world. I mean, you could be the president of the United States, just come home and be a girl. Mm. Mm. Just be a girl, you know? Mm. And I have a, a strong enough personality to offset the power trip if it, if it comes. <laughs> you can tame them. You know, it's like, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and, and let you think that because you make more money that you can dangle it over my head like some sort of a, a, a power card. That's, right. that's, not, that's not it. Because, you know, it's cyclical. You can be on top today and tomorrow be on the bottom and I could be on top. And then if, if you've done that to me, how you, th how you think I'm going to react when I'm Ooh. on top? Damn. You know, so I'm talking about fucking again, right? <laughs> you, know? <laughs> well, down. you know, but so yeah, I've, I've been in a situation where the woman I uh, was dating made more money than me and it didn't, you know, there were, there were times where, you know, that, that kind of thing would try to show its head. But if, as long as you let it be known that you see it mm -hmm. and that you're not, you're not into it like that and it's, it's it's deeper and bigger than just money yeah definitely. then people understand there's got to be there's got to be an order there's got to be and no man worth his salt is going to sit there and allow somebody to dominate him because they have a better job yeah because when you break it down that's not dominance yeah mm -hmm. you yeah. know so yeah Stephen bishop is here man Good um you know him from being mary jane uh, right now. Tonight it's going to be premiere. Um, the second season, season two, is um, 10 p.m. on BET. We're going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. All right, 27 minutes into the hour. Being Mary Jane, season two premieres tonight at 10 p.m. on BET. We got the one and only Stephen Bishop. He plays David Park on the um, show. Her love interest, or as they describe, playboy love interest, 
<laughs> uh, and um, hang out with us through the Celebrity Wire, and I want to talk more about Gabrielle Union. Tracy G., what you got? Oh, my goodness. So Suge Knight has just officially been charged with murder, and the dup is his friend, Terry Carter, and sources are saying a videotape is going to be a key piece of this evidence. So we learned that when he was over in Compton at a movie shoot, he ran over a man who was allegedly trying to fight him, this dude named Bone, but he accidentally struck his friend and killed him. So in addition to murder, Suge is going to be charged with attempted premeditated murder, hit and run resulting in death, and hit and run resulting in injury. These are all felonies. His bail that was originally set at $2.2 million has now been revoked because the bail commissioner decided he is at risk for intimidating witnesses. You know, Bone is uh, someone I, I know personally. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, we talked to him, and uh, 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 hopefully I told him to come on up, up on the show. He wanted to talk about the whole incident. So we may be getting that conversation with Bone. He's an Some, actor, right? Yeah, you know Bone, he yeah, was in training, training Day. day. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been in a lot. Yeah. He's been in a few things. Uh, um, Antoine Fuqua um, directed, put, directed Training Day. Yeah. Bone was the person that they kind of got the pass to go in the hood because he yeah, really... Yeah, he was the guy always talking to uh, Alonzo. Exactly, but Bone really comes from that. So, you know, he kind of gave him some insight into that world and then, you know, transcended his whole lifestyle into now he's a film guy, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool, right? Yeah, there's a couple of the uh, the cats that always play the Latin gangsters who yeah. are in, in that same boat. They're really gangsters, and then they got a break because yeah. they, you know, they wanted authentic... Gangsters, yeah, and now they got a career in acting out of it. That's you know? great, man. That's great. I'm good. You happy about that? Because because uh, they might take roles that will belong to you normally. Oop. All right. What else you got, Tracy? G? <laughs> All right. Actually, more there's nothing you news. can do about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, so a Go rep ahead. from uh, Whitney Houston family is saying that Bobby Christina is fighting for her life. You know, this girl's only 21 years old. She was taken to the hospital Saturday after she was found face down and unresponsive in a bathtub. This happened inside her home in Atlanta. Now there's some. Conflicting reports. TMZ is saying that they were told from family sources that cops made a second search of the house and snatched some drugs. But the Roswell Police Department's public information officer told the Urban, told the Urban Daily that they have not returned to the house since the incident, so that there was never a second search. How sad would that be? Like mm. if she doesn't make it, you gotta pray for her. You know, Bobby. Uh, I know you guys played a clip of when her father came on the show, right? Yeah, played a clip of it yesterday. Um, <clears throat> just to kind of keep people updated with with what was going on, and we talked about this and just how eerie it all is. You know, um, there have been conversation. Maybe she tried to recreate, possibly. You know, nobody mm. wants to even think about that. Yeah. But you know, the same way her mom passed, the anniversary is coming up. You yeah. know, what happened right. during the Grammys three years ago in February. It's just very, very ironic. Yeah. Try to lighten it up, shall we? Okay, can, can, yeah, Tracy. Uh... <laughs> let me make it. Let me make an attempt. Damn. I'm making an attempt. So Rihanna, you know, this is a woman who is known for freely flaunting her body and clothes and otherwise, and it looks like she's expecting nothing less from her rumored boyfriend Leonardo DiCaprio. Because a source went to OK Magazine and said that Rihanna has some extremely high standards for whoever is going to be entering her, and Leo falls out <laughs> of this category because he's gotten a little flabby over the years. So she's putting him on a very strict diet and exercise routine. Is that rumor? I mean, who? What woman tells Leonardo, "Hey, man, you got to lose your gut." Like really? The one he'll marry. That he have you ever had a woman like you know, I've been told that, I'm not gonna lie. Hey man, ten pounds, fifteen, you can get any time you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had man, a person tell me that. Uh, and you did know. you try try to lose it? Was uh, it worth it? Man, I got down four pounds maybe and then I still got it. Um <laughs> You know, it's just not any time. Not, not any time I want it, like but every I got other it. time. Playboy yeah, love yeah, interest. It was like once every four times. Um, you ever had a woman request uh, physical or, you know, hey, man, it's even, you know, you might want to work out a little bit? No, you know, being an athlete my whole life, I haven't really mm-hmm. fallen into mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Into that, uh, that fat phase. That, that, <laughs> gut, that <laughs> gut phase. Um, okay. I do, you know, I do get a winter coat. Yeah. You know, every every winter because I got to get ready to, you know, to shoot in the spring. So I, I like to start in January. So. Okay. Uh, probably November, December, I take off and I eat all my ice cream and all the things and get it out of the way. Yeah. So, but I'm, I mean, my job makes it so I have to stay in a certain range, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I think it's, it's a, it's a fortunate thing for me. Cause I think I might've gotten a gut by now if I yeah. didn't have to, you to not, yeah. I would have, yeah. You would have been me. Um, <laughs> what I did differently is I came on TV with a gut. So right. you just to minimize people's expectations. That's good. Right. That's very yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you so, found your niche. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> but have y'all told women to lose weight? 
Huh? Have you ever told a woman she should she would look great with less than ten pounds? Well, I used to be a, a personal trainer, so yeah. Oh. But I at at you know a lot of times I've told women to gain weight. You know, to to sculpt a little bit. You know, I've, there's a lot get of get an ass. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, uh, but there's listen. There's beautiful women in all shapes and sizes and colors, and it's 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 a, uh, you know, it's a potpourri, a smorgasbord out there. Yeah, sway. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, well, I know, got I got a woman now, so I'm I'm good. Yeah, but I mean, for the single guy. Yeah. The single guy. I mean, it's there's a there's a lot out there, and it's all beautiful and it's all uh, special in its own way. So. Yeah. You know, a little a little weight here or there. I don't think it. You know, I don't think it really. He's is baby. Anything. Baby. Man, he's scoring <laughs> points right now. <laughs> man. Steven Google Bishop is scoring points. <laughs> Figo's on the line for Florida. Good morning. How you doing, man? Good morning, everybody. Hey, say hello. Hello, say hello to Stephen Bishop. What's up, Stephen? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Man. I appreciate it. My hey, it's my first time um, being introduced to you through the show today, and I just thought that freestyle was killer. Thank you. And um, I thought it was awesome. Sway, Heather B, Tracy G. Um, my name's Figo. I go to school here in Florida, Tampa. And I'm actually from Sudan, though. Okay. Um, so I just wanted y'all to know, man, I'm I'm a citizen and I want to be stamped. Okay. I appreciate y'all. Okay. And I appreciate the positive energy. Mm-hmm. Bishop, um, that freestyle was awesome. Keep doing it, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, man, you're officially a citizen. A Sway in the morning. That's a stamp, all right? Uh, don't forget to watch Being Mary Jane tonight, 10 p.m. on BET. Real quick, man. Working opposite of Gabrielle Union, what is something about her uh, that you you know that people may not realize in terms of her craft? Uh, you know, you don't get to see a lot behind the scenes and between takes and you know rehearsals and things like that. And being you know there right in front of her, I've I've come to really respect and admire her professionalism. Yeah, you know, she is in just about every scene in the show, and yet. In our scenes, I've never heard her flub or forget a line. Wow, really? Never. That's difficult. Yeah, and, it, and not not even one word. No, <laughs> never. And it, and it's it's astonishing to me because it's like I said, she's in everything. So it's like, how do you know all of these lines so well that you don't even need to really call line? You know, a lot of you know a lot of times yeah. actors will forget line. But she's such a professional and she's such a good actor. I mean, she uh, she's a great actor. Yeah, yeah. You know. There was a time uh, in that ride or die scene when she was saying that uh-huh. she was the ride or die chick, and she she started crying in one of the takes, uh-huh. and she wasn't supposed to. It was in the, it wasn't in the script that she was going to cry. It was the first, and it hasn't happened since. The first time in my career that I've been pulled out of character by the emotion of the other actor, and I wanted wow. to I wanted to reach out and like grab her, like hey hey wait what's up you know. But then I, I, I caught it yeah. before it happened. Yeah. But it, in in the scene, I, and I don't know if it registered in my eyes or anything, but it was it was so real, and it was that moment we were living that moment, and she she brought it. I mean, it, yeah. she's she's very very talented, and if you've seen like I, I told you about riding dirty with Officer Turner, yeah, she's fearless. I mean, uh-huh. this this is it's a comedy thing where it's kind of like the Reno nine one one officers, and she mm-hmm. plays one where she's a solo uh, officer in a patrol car driving around. So funny, so fearless. I mean, Gabrielle, it's an it's an honor to work with her. Wow! So in the kissing scenes, right? Um, Back to that. <laughs> <laughs> is she so great as an actress that when you're kissing her, you feel like you're really kissing someone that you're in love with? That's a good question. Um, well, see, here's the thing. <laughs> no, I love when it, stuff starts like it, that. It, it feels like you're kissing somebody for real because you are. Yeah, you know. But I'm sure you you and I both have been in situations where we're kissing people that we don't love. Yeah. You know, and I'm yeah. sure in your life as well as mine, you've kissed more people that you don't love than you do. Okay. Mm. Okay, because you've only been in love a few times, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So it well, feels like you're... One, one, once. Just once? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just once? Yeah, where I'm at right now. Okay. okay. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you and your Thank woman, you. Thank man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You guys met in high school? Uh huh. No. <laughs> nah, man. We didn't meet in high school. Nah. Okay. Okay. Wait, but what, what am I saying? I've been in love multiple times. <laughs> I've been in love multiple times. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, it happens. Well, we ev- we evolve as people. You know, I mean, yeah. you you find love and it goes away, and then you find another one. Right. Who know? wants to be a grown man's first love interest? I got to deal with all your mistakes. Nah, come to me groomed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. But but it does feel like you know. It, I mean, it's really kissing. But then as soon as they say cut, yeah, you bounce and go your separate way. You know, what I mean, it's very professional, very technical. Uh, it's not like there's there's any. You don't get hard or nothing. No. Okay. No. Okay. Damn. No. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> cut through the chase. Damn, I just, you know, that's what we all want to know anyway. That's um, true. I mean, it's it's you know, it's not the first time I've been asked that. It's the first time I've been asked that on actual air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, it's 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 just, you know, she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. So it's a scary proposition every, for every time I got to go into yeah. one of those scenes. I'm like, please now control Troll. yourself. <laughs> Do not. Do it to me today. <laughs> Next time you go into a scene <laughs> with her, think of this moment. All right, Stephen Bishop, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how can people reach you on social media if they want to reach you? Uh, on Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Stephen C. Bishop, uh, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-C Bishop. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, uh, I have an official page, and I also have a, uh, a personal page, and they're both under just Stephen Bishop. Okay, man. Thank you for coming by, man. Thanks for having me, we're man. Gonna, I really appreciate we're it. We're going to post that verse up either tonight or tomorrow. Man, let's post it today. We'll post it tonight. So we'll drive people to the show. We're going to post that verse up. All right. I appreciate All right. it, man. I, and again, thank you for letting me have that bit of time. And I, I really wanted to do that and... It, you know, it felt really good to be able to get that off my chest. Yeah, you know? and you killed it. Thank you, Congratulations. Bro. You could have flubbed it. Um, all right. Um. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.